morning guys welcome to another episode of sea life we are out here in the chesapeake bay and uh it's looking real nice sun's about to rise and uh we're getting bait at the moment get some fiddler crabs for some sheep's head that's what we're going for today and then maybe some cobia red drum whatever's out there but we're mainly going for sheep's head today and uh we're here with peter anthony and sang so hopefully catch some fish what's up guys so editing this video right here we didn't get it on any sheep's head nor did long point had any fiddler crabs so we got some blue crabs but we still couldn't catch some sheep's heads so we got some flounder and some blue fish in this video and hopefully you guys like this video we did a catch and cook on the flounder stay tuned to the end see you guys out there when we fish Yo. Alright guys, so we made it to the islands. We out here at the pylons. So what we're doing is we side scanning, seeing if there's any sheep's head at these pylons, and then uh, we're gonna try and fish them. So uh, we'll see you when we catch some fish. Alright guys, so the sheep's head just weren't biting, so we just threw out a little X wrap lure and we just started catching some blue. So here's the a bunch nice. of clips of us catching bluefish which were Very nice. putting up a little good fight so we were just catching bluefish in the meantime and then we went flounder blue fishing fish. yes sir captain on them two bluefish about to catch some more oh we got a little oh. drag streamer over here oh my goodness what is this? what is that? Is what that is have... that? Oh, I have no idea but I oh, like oh, it oh you got one too Justin yes, okay sir. we'll take that you get it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Peter, you too? Okay, triple I like that. Up, up. Yes, sir. What are we going to do with all this? Are we going to catch a cobia with one, <laughs> we're gonna huh? Catch one. We're going to throw one off the cobia. We got a Jack yeah. It's a beautiful it's day. Thing. Current's a little bit rough right now, so we had to take a little break from sheepsies and uh, saw a little bait ball under us. So we decided to try for some uh, blues. Maybe some Spanish mackerel later. What he got? He's still fighting this one. Come on. Maybe oh, POV, POV, POV. Oh, Come on. Oh oh, 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 oh. Get in the water. Oh, Underwater. Yeah, hey, walk around the boat. What is this thing? What is it, Dan? Come on, walk around. Yeah, walk around, walk around. Move, Peter. Oh, what is that? What is it? Oh, a big blue. This dude thought he had a red. <laughs> oh, oh, get that away from me. There you go, boat flip. Oh, that's, that's a big, big one. one. Ain't you scared? What do you think? That's close to Moby Dick size. That's a tasty size right there. Put it up to the camera, Anthony. Great job. We got a little bit of action over here. Another one over there. Oh, POV. Oh, that one is good. Peter. Oh. Come on, Peter. Show him who's daddy. Show him who's daddy, Peter. 
Yeah, that's a nice blue. That's a nice blue, Peter. Away from the motor. Yes, sir, Peter. Put him in. Put him in, Peter, before it gets lost. Yes, sir. Nice, Peter. <laughs> Alright, Peter's on some blue fish too. We got a little blue fish frenzy over here. That's what it's looking like. A whole bunch of blues. Nice. Yes sir. We're gonna go on some shoes head right after this. Yo, what's up guys? <laughs> Justin couldn't handle it. <laughs> Justin's over here, seasick. He just threw up <laughs> on this glassy day. <laughs> How you feeling down there? You drowning me, man? I got my job on me. He got too excited from the fish. He uh, forgot he was sick. Now I finally hit him. We're gonna go search for some cobia. It's a uh, it's a parking lot over there, but hopefully we can catch. Whoa! Feels so good. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> get out here. No respect after that throw up. <laughs> Looking good today. Right here, we see the cobia, right? Cast it, cast it a little too far, spooked the cobia, and that was the only cobia we saw today. So after this, we just went flounder fishing, caught a couple flounder, and then we went home. Captain's on. Captain's on that blue fish. I got you with the gotcha, Peter. Give me yeah. a sec. Wait, jump. Sure. Oh. Big one. <laughs> About to break this rod. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Yes, sir. Let's go. On that flounder. On that flounder. Yes, sir. Good job. Hell yeah, job. Anthony. Hell yeah. Another flounder. Flounder pounder. Yes, sir. Captain put it on us some fish. Yes, sir. You want another? Pick that thing up. It's in the towel. You get it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Let me look at that. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. The spot. Let's right go. The spot. Captain put it me on. Let's go. Another five. Yes. Very nice. I like you. I like you. Catch and cook soon. Let's go. Look at his door mat. Jeez. Let's go. Damn, this is a nice one. Uh, Alright, guys. We're still out here. Just got lots of time to cobia. So we're gonna cobia soon. But uh, we got three flounder and a whole bunch of blues. And uh, I threw up again, but it's okay. Because uh, we caught some fish. So, see you guys when we catch some more fish. What's up, guys? We are back to shore. And uh, we're about to go home, wrap everything up. See you guys at home. We're probably going to clean the boat and do a catch and cook today. See you guys at home. Peace. What's up, guys? We just made it back home. It was uh, a long car ride. We got tired, so we took a nap. And then we came back. Uh, we're getting all the everything cleaned up getting the boat cleaned up and then we're gonna head back to the kitchen and cook some flounder or something see you guys there forgot to mention guys but this is the catch of the day just a whole bunch of blues that we limited out on and then we got three flounder we got like one right here one here and this one right here very nice size but I clean them and then uh, cook them. All right, guys, so we are in the kitchen cooking it up. We're gonna do one fried and then we're gonna do one sashimi style. So we clean it out right now. All right, so if you guys wanna fry it up, a little uh, trick is honestly leave the scales on when you fry it up, they get real crispy. Works real good because these flounder scales are really small. So they just crunch up. Big scale fish probably won't work as well. 
You just want to cut them up, cut the gills out. Run this along the stomach. Flounder's pretty easy, they're real clean fish. Just grab the gills. Rip them out. Yes. See that? It all comes out just like that. Clean meat. We actually bled this before. Right after you catch them, bleed them. Real good for sashimi. See this little bloodline right there? You just want to get your fingers in there. Rub it out. Yes, sir. It's okay to get a little bit dirty. Hear that? That's what good sound like. <laughs> <laughs> Run through the water, clean it all out. That's basically it. I'll show you how those scales look after we fry it up. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're just cutting it in slits so when you fry it, it mm. cooks pretty evenly. So, cut it however you want. You can just do slits like that, or you can just do a little checker. I like a little checker. Mm hmm. We can cut the flounder in half because we don't got a big enough pan, so we're gonna fry both sides. What? Alright guys, so we did this on both sides and then we just drying it up so that it fries good. And uh, we're gonna next we're gonna cut up the next flounder and sashimi it. Alright, so in a bowl, salt and pepper, more salt than pepper. Makes it a little bit easier, so it's more even. And you just sprinkle that on. Get in them cracks. At this point, basically like the little salt crust. Mm -hmm. You eat it and you go, mm, salty. Too much salt. Just a reminder, we ain't no chefs. We just, you know, catch and cook. We just like y'all, you know. You cook, you learn, you catch fish, and you have some good time out there in the water. Bon appetit. All right, first attempt at a fillet job. This ain't his first attempt. <laughs> Trust me, guys. We don't know what we're doing over here. This person, I'm probably not. Piece of veggie. Land of veggie. Just follow the line over here. I'm assuming just like any other fish, you know what I'm saying? Feel a little backbone, cut a little perimeter, and then you just follow that afterwards. It's good to have a little sharp knife, you know what I'm saying? See that? I think that's called the, uh, what's it called? Okinawa? Mm -hmm. That meat. Look at this professional. Far from it. There we go. Not too bad. Pin bones and then repeat. Wow's up. There we go. Not too bad. Get some sashimi time. There. Wow. Hmm? <laughs> they don't see that one. <laughs> they don't see that one. <laughs> Hey, but you do the other side. Wow, look at that. Wow. It looks real good. It does look good. Look at that. Wow. It is a lot it of is. shame. Peter is coming over. Yes? I think so. I think he's going over okay. after uh, he closes. Okay, so we're just doing the shishimi? Yeah. And then should we steam this? The bottom like part? Chinese style? Oh. We can. I'm down. I'm so down. Three way? Steam, fry, and shishimi? Alright, so this is going to be for shishimi. 
And then for this bottom part, we're actually gonna steam this and do Asian style. So we're gonna have some sashimi, some Asian style flounder, and then we're gonna fry a whole flounder over there. It's gonna be real good. All right guys, that's what it's looking like. We got our sashimi filet here. We got our sashimi that up. We got our steamed flounder belly bottom basically. We uh, scaled it and then we got our, uh, what is this, fried flounder. And we cut it up like this, salt, pepper, and then keep the scales on so it make it a little more crispy. And we're gonna cook it up. All right, doing a little prep work. Getting it ready to steam. About to fry this up. Doing a little sashimi over here. And then we prep it up some uh, stuff for the steam. Julian, some green peppers. Then we slice up some ginger. We fry it up, make some sauce. Check it guys, we got the uh, flounder sashimi. I even made a little flour for you guys. I felt a little special today. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the fridge, let it cool down until the other food's ready. We're ready to chow it down. All right, three course meal takes a lot of time, so we got some prep work. Three chefs in the house. <laughs> We're thinking about frying up some flounder skin too. Oh, that sounds good. Salt it and fry it up a little crispy. No, oh, what's that doing over there? You got one more left. Yeah. Hasn't started this yet. We're gonna wait because uh cooking three meals at a time, just like Master Chef, they all gotta come out hot. Alright, let's see if we know what we're doing over here. Get it pretty hot, let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Stand away, let it fry. Oh, you get a little good crust on there. And then if you want, you can get a ladle and start later it up on top but i don't really have too much time to uh watch and ladle the entire time so i'm just gonna let this thing cook down a couple minutes on each side flip it it should be good do it for the rest of the fish we're gonna be eating good tonight all right guys we got sang frying it up outside to take you guys down here doing this three course meal guys it's gonna be real good look at this look at this crust action wow look at that crispy yes, yes sir <laughs> wow we put two heads in there it's gonna be real good guys Have a little bite of this tail yeah let's see this mmm mm. crispy crispy live action wow all right let me take y'all inside <laughs> Get y'all a little update. All right, so we got that third flounder. We just uh, gutted and everything, save it for later. But we got all the spring onions, we got all the ginger, and we're gonna put it right on top of this flounder right here. And uh, what we're doing is we're putting a little ginger right on top of the flounder. It takes a little bit of that that fish smell off of it. So it's gonna be real good once that happens. And what else are we doing? We're just doing steam, we're doing fried. Oh, and then we got the sashimi in the fridge. Yes, sounds good. All right, we finished frying that fish. Look at that, look how crispy that is. Wow. Steam fish is almost done. We're gonna make the sauce for the Chinese style steamed fish. It's gonna be real good. How are we making this, chef? Huh? How are we making this? Secret Honestly, recipe? we're just winging it right now. We're just winging it? No recipe, just, you know, by taste. By taste. It's gonna be real good. What are we making here, chef? Just frying up some uh, ginger, scallions, and some sesame oil. Let it crisp up. Not too overdone, but let it crisp up so when you pour it on the fish, you have a little bite of ginger. Nice. Yes, sir. All 
night is ready. Please don't drop. Hey, Peter, bring me the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. There we go. Amazing. All right. That smells so good. Wow. Now we're putting the green onions on top. Wow. My mouth is watering. Actually, <laughs> make a higher mound so they cook together. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, now Beautiful. we gotta cook up some uh, oil. Put it on. Alright, guys, oil so we're making some uh, dick mama here. If you don't know, then you don't know. But this is what we dip the fish with. Yes, it's fish sauce. You gotta get the uh, squid brand. If you don't get the squid brand or the three crabs, red boat. or the red boat, then you don't know. But this is the fish sauce that we're using. And then we're gonna cut a whole bunch of Thai chili peppers and gonna dip the fish in there with some rice. It's gonna be real good. All right. It's all ready now. That's how we do it. We're right on top. Mm -hmm. Cook it up. Mm. And then uh, add some sauce. Wow. Looks good. Fried fish. Oh, we added some garlic in here too. Look at that, beautiful. And we got some uh, soy sauce, some wasabi in there for the sashimi. Wow, look at that sauce. Master chef right here. Wow. Wow. Might as well bring out the sashimi too, Anthony. Ready? Oh, when's the rice done? Wow, this that looks good. Look at that, guys. Wowza. Mm. I'm so hungry. Oh. Uh, we are oh, digging in, we're so this. hungry. Mm -hmm. See the scales like that and make it extra crispy? Mm -hmm. Wow. And easy to eat, too. You think it's hard to eat, it's not. <coughs> mm. How is it? It's mm. good? No. Like wow. chips. Listen. We hear the flounder skin. The best part. Try a little more of this. Do we have any leftovers? No, mm. So good. This is what we're looking at right here. We got the fried fish. We got the sashimi. We got the steamed fish. Look at that Chinese style right there. Whatever style, I don't even know. It's good. <laughs> wow, look at that. All right, let's try the sashimi. All right, go like this. <laughs> Professional. Vegan, everyone. I almost, put it, I almost put in the fish sauce. Yeah, I know, I saw that. Probably would be good anyways. Mmm. Oh, it? wow. Good? It's good. Oh, oh wow. That was good. Oh, wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> How is mm. it, in there? It should both Very clean, good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, very good. If we're not freezing it for a week, it's very clean. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like parasite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is how we're gonna get you some worms in here. We would even need to salt this. You think it would be better if we did? Yeah. Next time we do it, we should salt it. We can, mm. we can try it. That's good though. Yeah, we could have done this from the boat. Mm. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Next time we should. Wowza. Mm. Good Super texture. good. Yeah. Definitely a good texture. Mm -hmm. Every time we catch a flounder, I'm like, flounder sashimi. We right, finally got we're one. Uh, Look, the really yeah. made a little, little nigiri right here. Flounder yeah. nigiri. Flounder <laughs> nigiri. <laughs> Falling apart though. Mm. Man's getting some uh, some seaweed. I swear I had Costco seaweed. Wow. I ate it all. Yeah, I saw one in there the other day. <laughs> yeah. Mm. How is it? Buzzing? Mm. Where are you? <laughs> oh shit. Peter already ate it? Right in my finger. Yeah. I, I needed a piece. taste test. Hey, oh wow. How is it, Anthony? It's real oh, flaky and crispy. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Mm. Well, let me try this. Mm -hmm. piece of let me try this. It's a bite. Let me have them back. You lying. It's, it's just like ass. Mm. Mm, it's 
Yeah, you gotta get the, uh, the greens and stuff on top. Look at that flake. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Wow. That's a good bite right here. Yeah. yeah look Peter's like salivating behind that camera. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for my cheers. Cheers, guys. Oof. Look at that. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was so good, guys. <laughs> Quick bite. All right, we're going to dig in. Yes. Guys, look at this. Do this with an amberjack. Look at this white meat right here. Look at this flounder. Super Should good. Dip it in here. Here's your uh, things. Just scoop it in. The spoon. Get oh, a little, some of that. Get some of that. Greens. Yes, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, let me get you a little bit of uh, this. Uh, mm. Yes. Wow. Oh, that's mm. a good bite right there. Good. That's good. <laughs> All right, guys. That's a wrap for the video. We destroyed most of the sashimi, the fried fish, and uh, the steam fish. We're just still nibbling on it. You know, shout out Zen Cafe. Yeah. But, uh,. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. We had a little bluefish frenzy and then three flounder we cooked up for y'all. It's the first catch, clean and cook. And uh, hopefully more videos coming out. Hopefully you guys uh, liked the video, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Peace.